Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com for premium picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. There is a great fight that was recently announced for the championship at 154 pounds. And it's between one of my favorite fighters. I've backed him in a few fights, Carlos Molina. And he'll be defending his title against the fighter you need to know, Jamal Charlo. Right, and I say Jamal with an A because he has a brother, Jamel Charlo. Don't confuse the two. Now, let me just say to everyone who looks at fights and analyzes fights here on YouTube, one of the best YouTube posters out there, this guy has videos nobody else has, is Ashy Knuckles. Right? Ashy Knuckles has films of up and coming fighters like Jamal Charlo in against better known world class fighters like Arislandi Lara. Right? He also has film of an underrated fighter, in my opinion, Brad King Solomon against Arislandi Lara. What you want to do is you want to look at those films. As you look at Charlo's record, you might be fooled into believing that he hasn't been in the ring with world-class competition. But that's not the case. He has. In fact, if you dig deeper into his background, you'll see that he has one of the very best trainers in boxing, Ronnie Shields. Right? He's part of Shields' stable. And, of course, he's had access to some of the other great fighters in Shields' stable, including Arislandi Lara. Now, I'm just here to tell you that Carlos Molina is a slick guy who likes to work his way inside, then start throwing body punches and combinations when you try to you know, come back at him. He's a master at clinching you and at turning you. The kind of skill set, in my opinion, that would give Molina a hard time. And keep in mind, Molina's a guy who officially got a draw with Arislandi Lara. Many people believe he won that fight. Right? That fight is up on YouTube. I have a link to the video on my channel page, just like I have a link to the Lara Jamal Charlo sparring session, right? Keep in mind, too, Molina fought pressure fighter James Kirkland. He was winning that fight handily before a fluke disqualification after he did get dropped late in the fight. He got back up. Keep in mind, in my opinion, all he had to do was last the rest of the fight to win it and a corner man stepped in the ring and Molina got disqualified. Right, so Molina has been in with elite fighters. He also fought Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. I would encourage everyone to look at their first fight. I don't think there's a doubt that Molina won that first fight. So he's alone. But let's think about all of those fights. In my opinion, Chavez Jr. doesn't have a great jab. In my opinion, Arislandi Lara is low volume and is uncommitted to the jab. In my opinion, James Kirkland doesn't have a great jab. Since Molina does his best work inside, he's in and out, but he does his best work inside. Understand he hasn't had to deal with a great jab in any of those fights, right? He's going to have to deal with a great jab against Jamal Charlo, right? Charlo, who might not be that well-known, has a great jab. It's like a piston, 
Not only that, he throws really straight punches, which is important because the shortest distance between two points is a straight line, right? You want your punches to get there before your opponents. And Charlo, who has a hand speed advantage on champion Carlos Molina, also throws the straighter punches. As you'll see in the Arislandi Lara sparring session, he's also great at cutting off the ring. Right? He knows how to back you up. Spacing against Molina, who's superior inside, is crucial. You need to find a way to keep Molina off of you while being busy enough to win on the scorecards. Right? You need to back up Molina. You need to be the one controlling spacing in the ring. I believe Jamal Charlo is that kind of fighter. Now I'll agree that Charlo doesn't throw a lot to the body. I'll agree that Charlo hasn't shown me a lot on the inside. Right? I'll agree that if Molina gets inside and is able to stay inside all night, then Charlo won't be able to show us that jab. And Charlo will have problems if this turns into a wrestling match. But he's a live underdog, folks. With this skill set, a great jab, he can stay busy, Molina's going to have a very hard time getting inside. Right? With his ability to literally move away and move to Molina, while keeping Molina outside with a heavy dose of volume, something Laura did not have when these two men fought. I think Charlo is a live underdog. So, since the fight's just been announced, I have not been able to see odds released by a casino. But, let's just say, I think Charlo is a live underdog if you see him at greater than even money odds. In fact, I'm expecting Charlo to be at least a plus 150, right? If you see him at greater than even money odds with enough of a cushion, let's say greater than plus 125, right? Then the way I would play this, especially since Molina doesn't have a big punch, Guys go the distance against Molina. As I would take the underdog, Charlo, right, at 125 or higher, right, plus 125 or higher, hedged with Molina by decision, if the Molina by decision props are approximately even money, right, or higher. The goal of a hedge is to have it set up where the amount you're getting over even money on one half of the bet more than subsidizes the other side of the bet, right? I believe you're likely to get that here. Charlo is very talented, but the public doesn't really know who he is. Let me also point out that Charlo's corner knows Molina. Because, of course, it was Charlo's corner, right? Ronnie Shields and company that were in the corner of Arislandi Lara against Molina. Let me point out, too, in that fight, Ronnie Shields is pleading with his fighter, who did make a comeback in the fight, to throw his jab more, right? But Lara is a sharpshooter, right? He doesn't play to the volume crowd. He's in there just trying to surgically counterpunch you. Let's just say Ronnie Shields won't have to beg Charlo to throw his jab. I'm guessing he's going to throw it with regularity. I'm expecting him to give Molina problems with that jab, as well as just his youth and movement. Right? The fact that he's aggressive with the jab. This isn't a guy on his back foot 
throwing a jab. No, this is more Larry Holmes. This is a guy on his front foot throwing a jab. He's bludgeoning you with that jab, right? I don't even believe Charlo has to throw too many right hands in the fight. I believe if he comes in, works the jab, keeps Molina away from him, just like Larry Holmes in the 70s kept guys off of him, right? Builds up points, forces Molina to get desperate, Limits the amount of times that Molina can get inside on him. When Molina tries to get inside on him, just back away or pivot. I think he'll have, really, a good shot at taking Molina's title. I think Charlo is a live underdog. I like Charlo to win this fight hedged with Molina by decision. I believe you'll get value from the casino. Let me add a, a caveat, though. The odds always matter. I'm only interested in this bet. If Charlo is the underdog, and I mean a decent underdog, right? A plus 125 or a plus 150. If Charlo somehow goes from being relatively unknown to being the favorite in this fight, then I'm going to stay on the sidelines. Right? Because there's simply too much risk being the lesser known fighter against the champ. Right? Also, the stage is going to be big. These guys are going to be on the undercard of the Saul Alvarez, Alfredo and Gulo fight. Right? That's a big stage for a young fighter. To sum up, I expect Charlo to be the underdog. I like him to win this fight, hedged with the champion, Molina. By decision, but understand the risk involved. If Carlos Molina suddenly comes in looking for a KO against a young unbeaten fighter, and if he gets that KO, you lose it all. Right? That's the risk. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.